Here we go again, and thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, basically, this is my little uh, ribeye steak challenge. It's a 700 grams ribeye, uh, which I'm going to uh, take care of in the next half an hour or so. But I will take you through the whole procedure. I've uh, been told by a professional Hungarian chef uh, who the whole thing is down, uh, not down, but done. And um, yeah, stick around and check out this beauty. The guy said, listen, the kind of meat you've got there, whatever you do with it, it's gonna be tasty. Stay tuned. Right, so I chopped up those uh, zucchinis because I uh, love the veggie too. Of course, uh, I forgot to mention before, you will need some uh, garlic as well in the end of it. And uh, basically I mixed together um, pepper with sea salt, which I cracked as well. So all you need to do, and that's what the guy told me, don't use anything fancy, just basically sea salt and uh, pepper. And that's how it's done. But I'm not gonna bore you with this. I'm gonna just switch this off. But uh, hang about and I will explain you a little bit later how the cooking is done. It's quite a procedure. It's a very precious meat apparently. And uh, you need to you need to know what you are doing. Now we are getting close to the situation here. Basically, preheat that pan and put a little bit of oil, not too much, not too much, but do put a little bit of oil in. Make sure it goes everywhere. The fire is on, as you can see. Right, and now take this beauty and just shove it in there. Yeah, it's so heavy I almost can't lift it with one hand. Look at that. Right, all right baby, that's it. Now, give it a couple of minutes on each side. And when it's done, you must have your little oven preheated with 250 degrees and then you have to put the whole thing in there for four or five minutes however I will take you through that so hang about mate you can poke it a little bit with a wooden spoon but you have to make damn sure you're not using a knife or a fork or scissors or something because you need to seal that beauty the two minutes are over and of course now you can use a fork very close to the bone just to turn it over. Look at that. Look at that. You just steal, you just seal this steak, very special ribeye, another couple of minutes and then it goes into the preheated oven between four and five minutes on mark of 180 180 degrees guys and that's gonna be the time for me to prepare the zucchini look at that oh yeah right another two minutes are gone everything is hot sorry it's a heavy beast it's a heavy beast I can tell you that. Right. And now it goes into here. All nice and preheated. And then straight into the oven. I make sure I put it down to 190 degrees. And just let it chill for between 4 and 5 minutes basically. Now we are ready for the zucchini. Just nicely paste them in there. When all is in, you can put a little bit of sea salt on the top. 
of course not too much because it's bad for your blood pressure however I'm on cholesterol tablets and I'm on blood pressure tablets and let me tell you something if I die five years earlier so be it I like to use a little bit of soya sauce on the top of the zucchini so I can recommend it it's up to you of course now this whole thing is getting there we have another minute left and then we will let the steak rest for around four minutes before we put it back into the pan for another minute or two it's quite a procedure but it's worth it out of the oven that is how it looks isn't that just something gorgeous oh my god look at that look at that juicy baby oh yeah now have a little bit more get a little bit close oh yeah and now we're gonna let it rest for four minutes nicely covered up we leave it alone and now we are going to turn that zucchini over use a fork I just wanted to show you what I'm actually doing but I'm going to use a fork as well to flip them over yeah it's almost done absolutely lovely we're almost ready ready to roll and to make this steak beautiful and real I'm going to use some eggs sorry I couldn't show you straight away because with one hand holding the camera and then cracking those eggs is not that straightforward but you get the idea and I'm going to show you a cam shot from the real meal I hope you enjoyed the show and uh, stay with me every single meal, meal I'm doing it's on the record it's on YouTube and uh, like it subscribe it either way I'm happy you watched it catch you later oh yeah now I would say I nailed it thank you for watching guys Tune in tomorrow for another amazing, mesmerizing show.